Antarctic blue whales are the largest animals on Earth, but they're rarely seen. Instead, scientists rely on underwater microphones to listen out for these critically endangered animals. They can produce sounds that travel hundreds, if not thousands of kilometers. So listening for them provides us a really good means of, of understanding where they are. But listening back to thousands of hours of audio is tedious and slow. AI is now being used to turbocharge that process. And that means better answers more quickly, less time uh, for expert scientists spent listening to sounds and more time being able to focus on important ecological questions like whether or not these animals are recovering. Each species that Dr Miller listens for has its own unique sound wave pattern it makes, which the AI can be trained to spot. When it's listened to enough of those sounds, it can begin to recognise them on its own. Further north in the Tasman Sea, researchers from the CSIRO are trialling a new project. They're using a special AI camera to count seabirds, like the endangered shy albatross. Well, essentially the AI is replacing the mammoth amount of data that you have to trawl through. Getting caught in fishing nets is one of the biggest threats to these animals. Knowing how many there are means better decisions can be made in real time to protect them. It's quite a difficult task for, you know, a human can count one, two, three, four, and then after that it, it gets a little sloppy. But the technology isn't perfect. At least for now, humans are still needed to make sure the AI isn't getting things wrong or making things up. Yes, so we have a little bit more training to do. Algorithms are getting better and it's almost a, a renaissance for this field, so it's, uh, it's a great time to be listening. A new technology transforming conservation research. Clancy Barlin, ABC News.